Hello all. In our previous video, we have completely designed dashboard.php. We have fetched all the data from the database that is group data and the user data. And also we have displayed that data here. Okay, here I'm having this all the group data and here I'm having this user data. And also we have seen how to display these buttons and here I'm having the status as not voted. Okay, now we are going to add the voting functionality and once the user clicks on this button, okay, this status should be updated. Here voting should be updated and also the number of votes should be updated as well as in the database this status should be updated and this vote should be updated okay now we are going to design for that one and here whenever i click on this vote button let me just come down whenever i click on this vote button i should be redirected to actions folder inside that i am having voting.php and inside this file we are going to write the entire code and also for this button i have given the type is equal to submit now here inside this voting.php first i am just going to write this php syntax and inside this first let me just start the session here session start because we are going to use all the session variables here and also i'm just going to include connect.php file my file is present inside the same folder action.php so here i'm directly writing here connect.php okay now here inside this first i have to access this input hidden fields okay now inside this i have given this group words and group id i just have to access this both the fields so here I'm just going to come. Now here I'll just create one variable. I'll just write here words. And inside this using post method, I'm just going to access this one. Let me just come here. I'll just copy this group words. And here I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, now whatever value I'm having inside that input hidden field, that value will be accessed here. And that will be stored inside this variable. Now once the user clicks on that, I should be updating this one. So here let me just write here total words. And inside this, whatever value I'm having here, I'll just copy this one. Here I'm just going to paste. I just have to increase by one. Each time when the user clicks on the voting button, this value should be updated and it should be increased by one. Then below this, I'm just going to create another variable. Let me just write here GID. Here I'll just write here post. And inside this, I'm just going to pass this group ID. Okay, whatever ID I'm getting from here, I'm just going to access that one. I'm just going to store here. Okay, here I'm just accessing this group ID and here I have just started the session and using this session, I'm just going to access the user ID. So let me just write here UID and using this session variable, I'm just going to access the ID. Okay, this session variable I have already created inside login.php. You can see here I have already created that one session ID and here I'm just accessing that one inside voting.php. I'm just accessing this ID. I'm just accessing this ID session variable I'm storing inside this UID. Okay, now I have to write the update query because here I'm updating the value of words and also I have to update the value of status. So here I'm just going to write update query now. Here I'll just write update, update words and inside this I'm just going to pass here my SQLI. Okay, directly I'm just going to write the query now. I'm not going to create any query variable SQL directly i'm just going to write the query now okay like this also you can do or whatever we have done previously that also you can do now inside this first it will take two parameters first is my connection variable and second is the query okay first i'm just going to write this update update my table name table name is user data so i'm just going to write that one inside backticks i'll just write here user data update table name and i have to set the values now i'm just going to set I'll just take the column name words and inside this I'm just going to pass the total words. Okay, whatever value I'm getting. Okay, this has been deleted from here. Okay, let me just write that one again. Uh, I don't know how it got deleted. Words plus one. I'll just copy this. And here I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, inside single course I'm just going to paste that one. Whatever value I'm having inside words, whenever user clicks on the button, I'm increasing by one. So this value I'm just updating inside the table. Okay, whatever value, suppose I'm having here four. So that value will be updated and that number of words will be stored inside this words. And also I have to give the condition where my ID is equal to this group ID. Whatever ID I'm just accessing from the group. Okay, if it is equal to this one, only for that one I have to update. And inside this I'm just going to paste that group ID. Okay, this is how we are going to update. Now I have to update the status as well. So here I'm just going to copy this entire thing. I'm just going to paste here. I'll just write here status. Now instead of this, let me just remove this. This entire thing I'm just going to remove. Now instead of this, I just have to update the status. Once I give the word, then I have to give the status is equal to 1. I have to update the status. 
if my status is equal to 1 only then I will be getting the button as voted and also I will be getting the status as voted. So here I am just going to set the status and here I will just give the condition where my column ID is equal to whatever ID okay using this session whatever ID I am getting I am just going to pass that one okay of this particular user ID I am just going to update. If my user ID is equal to this ID I am just going to update the status okay this is how we are going to write update table name first I am just going to update the words how many words I will be getting from here I am just going to update that one I will be storing inside the database table once user is voted then here I am just setting the status is equal to 1 where my id okay column id is equal to user id okay whichever user is login if that user and whatever data I am having inside the database if that matches only then I have to update the status or else the status will be 0. Now below this I am just going to write one if condition and inside this first I am just going to pass this I will just copy this one and here I am just going to paste okay if the number of words is updated and also if the number of status I will just copy this one and here I will just write and and here I will just paste that one. Okay, if the status is changed to 1 and also if the number of words is updated which means that the user is voted. If both the conditions are true only then I have to do some changes here or else else I am just going to do here else I will just write echo and inside this script let me just write here script here I will just write another script I am just going to close the script here let me just write here alert and inside this I am just going to write here voting unsuccessful. Okay, let me just write technical error. Technical error. Vote after some time. Okay, something I am just going to write. Vote after some time. I will just close this one and also I am just going to give the location. I will just write here window.location. Okay, if I get error, I should be redirected to partials. Let me just write that one. I will just write here double quotes and here I am just going to pass that one and here I should be redirected to partials inside this I should be redirected to dashboard again the user has to try so I will be redirected to dashboard.php I will save this let me just come to dashboard.php and inside this I am having all these buttons so I will be redirected to this particular page and I have to log in okay here I am having this window.location and I should be redirected to dashboard.php if the user is having some technical errors or some technical issues, okay, the user will be redirected to dashboard.php and also this error will be displayed. Technical error, vote after some time. Okay, if both the conditions are true, then I am just going to do some changes here. If both the, if any one of the condition is false, then I will be getting this message. Now, inside this if, I am just going to create one variable. I will just create one variable. I will just write here get groups. Inside this, I am just going to write here my SQLI query and here I am just going to write first I am just going to pass here connection variable and second I am just going to select all the things let me just write here and here I will be writing select first I am just going to select the username then I will be selecting the photo okay whatever photo is present inside the database I am just going to select the words and also I am just going to select the ID whatever is present inside the database from my table name okay my table name is user data so I am just going to write that one where okay where my standard is equal to group okay only then I am just going to select this particular groups okay I am just going to select username photo words and id where my standard is equal to group suppose if I am having three groups okay only three groups data will be selected for me and that query will be executed here now below that I am just going to create one variable groups. Now once I get all this data I have to fetch all the data. So we are having my SQLI fetch all. Using this we can fetch all the data and inside this we have to pass this variable. Okay wherever our query is getting executed first parameter we have to pass that one and second will be our my SQLI query as so. Whatever groups I am getting from here that it is going to join and as an object I am just going to get the output. So we have to use this mysqli fetch all. I uh, will just create session variable. I will just write here session. And inside this I am just going to pass here groups. Which will be equal to the groups. Okay, I am just assigning all the values inside this groups. Let me just write here dollar symbol. Then below this session variable I am just going to change the status. Okay, session. 
I'm just going to change the status. Status is equal to one. Okay, we have to update that one. So here I'm just changing the status to one. Okay, we have already checked for the condition. If my status is equal to one, only then I should be getting the status as voted, or else I should be getting as not voted. Once it is done, now here I'm just going to come. I'll just copy this entire script. Before that, let me just close this. I'll copy this one, and here I'm just going to paste. Now here, instead of this, I'll just write here voting successful. And also location, I'm just going to write. Okay, the same location I'm just going to write. I should be redirected to dashboard.php. Okay, this is how we are going to write the code. Now, once we are done with writing the logic, so let us just check for the output now. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. I have logged in using Khanum user. Now I'm just going to vote for this flowers. I'll just click on vote. I'm getting this voting successful. I'll just click on OK. You can see all the buttons have been changed to green color. You can see the number of vote has been updated for this flowers and also the status has been changed to voted. I'll just come back. I'll just come back. Okay, log out. We are going to work. Don't worry. I'll just log in using Sanya now. I'll just copy Sanya. Here I'm just going to paste mobile number password 123 and I'm just going to give here voter. I'll just log in. Now you can see Sanya is not voted for any group. So here I'm having this output. Now again, if Sanya vote for this flower group, I'll just click on this. Okay. You can see again the voting. Okay. The number of vote has been updated to two because Sanya and Khanam is voted for flowers and still for browser and book. We are having zero votes. Okay. No votes has been applied for this. And here you can see the status has been changed to voted. Okay. This is how it is going to work. Okay, now we are going to work on this logout functionality as well. Okay, now here I'm just going to come back. Now inside this URL, if I just write here partials, let me just write here partials dashboard.php. Now I have login using Sanya. Okay, now as soon as I enter this, again, you can see I'm getting this Sanya data because I have not destroyed the sessions. So whatever variable I'm having here, that is been set and only Sanya data will be displayed for me. Now using this logout, I have to destroy the session variable and also I should restrict this one. Without logging in, I should not be redirected to dashboard.php. We are going to see that one later. Okay, this is how we are going to work with dashboard.php. Now again, let me just come back. I'll just register using another user. I'll just write here Sia. Pa mobile number, same thing. Password 123. Confirm password 123. Choose file. Let me just select one file. And from here, let me just select this butterfly. Okay, let me just select this cartoon. And here I'm just going to register as a voter. I'll just register. Registration successful. Okay, I'll just log in using Sia now. Mobile number 123. Okay, password 123. Voter. Login. Okay, now you can see for Sia, I'm having all this data. Okay, I have not voted. And here you can see the number of votes here I'm having as two. And for this, I'm having this one. And if I show you in the database, let me just refresh this one. For Khanam and Sanya, the status will be changed to one now. Okay, let me just refresh. You can see for Sanya, for Sanya and Khanam, the status has been changed to one. And for this flowers group, the votes has been changed to two. Okay, this is how we are going to update and whatever update we have done, okay, that will be updated in the database as well. Now the CR status is zero. So for that, I'm getting here not voted. And also these buttons are red now. And here I'm having the text as vote. As soon as I give the vote, here I'll be getting the status as one. And also the number of votes will be changed. Now let me just give the vote for browsers. I'll just click on OK. Now you can see the status has been changed to voted. And for browsers, I got one vote. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the status of CI has been changed to one and the browsers. Okay. The browser vote has been changed to one. Okay. This is how we are going to create the simple voting system. Now next we are going to work on logout section.